Okay, first things first, we're just gonna start off with browning our hamburger meat. I have seasoned the hamburger meat with a little bit of salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. So we're just gonna brown this up until we don't see any pink pieces, and then we're gonna drain the excess grease off. Okay, now we're going to just boil our uh, bow tie noodles. Just follow the directions on the back of the box. Okay, you see here I've drained off all the excess grease. So now we're just going to add our jar of spaghetti sauce. I'm just using Ragu 6 cheese. Just go ahead and put that in there. You use a little bit of water to get off the excess sauce if you'd like, but don't add too much or make it really soupy. Next up is our jar of Rotel. You can drain it or just dump it all in together like I Next, we're going to add in our cooked hamburger meat. And we're just going to stir that around until it's all really nice and incorporated. We're going to let this uh, simmer just a little bit. We want it to get hot, but not too, too hot. And then when it is the right temperature, we are going to add our cottage cheese or if you're using ricotta. Okay, so while our sauce is simmering, we're gonna go ahead and cut the bread. I just have a rugged bread knife here and a loaf of French bread. I really enjoy using the French bread just because I think it really adds to the flavor and the texture and it holds up really well. So I'm just cutting it about half an inch pieces. And then I'm going to use half a stick of butter, a little bit of minced garlic, garlic powder, um, and some Italian seasoning just mixed here in a bowl. You do not want to warm it up. We're just going to mix it all together and we're going to spread it on the front and the back of our bread. Okay, so your bow tie noodles should be done. So we're just going to drain them off here in a uh, strainer. And I'm going to plop them back over in the pot just to kind of get some of the excess water out. Okay, so as you can see, our sauce is simmering. So we're gonna go ahead and add the cottage cheese. You can use the small curd or the large curd. It doesn't really matter. Or you can even use ricotta if you'd like. I actually prefer cottage cheese over ricotta, but feel free to use whatever you like. So we're just gonna stir this around until it was really nice and mixed together. Alright, now the fun part. Dumping our noodles over into our hot tub of spaghetti sauce. So we're going to gently fold the noodles into the spaghetti sauce so we do not break up any of the noodles. I think that really adds to the look of the meal. And it also kind of gives it that lasagna feel, even though this is really easy lasagna. So I'm just going to mix this all up until every noodle is cuddled in a blanket of spaghetti sauce. Okay, now for the most important part, cheese. So we're going to put a nice layer of cheese on top. I'm using an Italian style cheese, which has a lot of different cheeses mixed into one, but you can use just mozzarella if you'd like, or provolone, asiago, any type of cheese really. So we're just going to put a nice layer of cheese on there. We're going to pop the lid on it and let it melt. Okay, for the garlic bread, I'm using a cast iron skillet with a little bit of non-stick spray on it. We're going to go ahead and turn on the heat. If you do not have a cast iron skillet, feel free to use what other type of skillet you have. I put as many bread pieces on there that I could fit without overcrowding them. So we're just going to leave them on um, one side for about two to three minutes and then we're going to flip them over. You don't want them to get too brown and you need to keep your heat at a medium heat or they will burn very quickly. Okay, as you can see, the cheese is nice and melted and the bread is nice and golden. And that is your skillet lasagna and skillet garlic bread. Now I think this is really great if you are a beginner and you don't really have a lot of pots and pans or if you're running late for work and you still want that lasagna but don't have the time, I think this recipe is super easy and it's great and delicious and it's sure to be a crowd pleaser. 